Hey everybody, I'm Anna, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a paper mache volcano. So some things you'll need are some paintbrushes and paint, some newspapers cut in strips, a plastic spoon, some cardboard cut into strips, a platform, which I'll talk about later, some water, and some glue, and some con and a container to mix it in. What we started with for our platform was a soda can and a soup can on top of each other, and we taped them to a flat piece of cardboard. What you're gonna need for your paste is some glue, some water, a container to mix it in, and a plastic spoon. Once you're done mixing, you're going to want it to peel like watered down whipped cream or heavy cream or milk. This is a messy project, so you're going to want to have paper towels handy. Yeah. So if you don't like messy projects, I suggest stopping now. To fill the sides of the volcano, you're going to need your cardboard strips. And I have longer pieces and shorter pieces. And you're going to want to get the longer pieces to put on the sides going out to the side of the box that's longer. And the shorter pieces can go on the shorter sides. And my pieces I bent so they'll lie down nicer. And so you're going to want to have tape handy. And you're going to want to tape this into place. And make sure your cardboard is not covering the top of your can or bottle. Now you have your general frame. So when you put your paper mache on, it's going to want to fill in these cracks in between the cardboard. So to prevent that, you can take some tissue paper and just wrap that around. You'll want to take your tape and just secure that down on all sides. Okay, so now we're going to start putting our paper mache on. And before you start, I suggest changing your shirt and putting your hair up in a ponytail just to minimize the mess a little bit. So you're going to want to take your newspaper, dip it in the bottom, and pull it all through. Then once you get to the end of the strip, you're going to put it back down and pinch it to get it all off. And now you're just going to want to lay it down in the place that you want it. And then the next strip that you take, you're just going to want to do the same thing again. Dip it, pull it through, and pinch to get it. And, but with this strip, you're not going to put it anywhere. You're going to want to put it over top of the other one about halfway. Okay, so we put a second coat of paper mache on and we went under the volcano and we went inside just so it's all secure. It's not fully dry but it doesn't have to be because we're using water based paints. So we are going to paint it now. Squirt some of your paint on and you're going to want to get your brush and just brush all directions. It doesn't have to be perfect because if you Paint it in the same direction. 
just furious and all over the place. Just cover your volcano. And the reason you don't want to make this look perfect and you want to make it look more natural is because we're going to be working on details later with our different paints. We finished our first coat of paint and we used three different browns. And as you're painting your brush streaks, if you're heavy or light, doesn't matter. They kind of make all these bumps and you can paint them gray or black or green or something. And you can make them look like rocks or tiny hills on the mountain or something like that. And you can already see we have tons of little ridges. So after we put the brown base on, we put some green on the bottom, on the corners, the flat land. And with the areas that came up on the volcano, we put gray. And in their shadows, we put a little black. And on the inside of the volcano, we put a mixture of yellow, orange, and red. We finished our volcano, and we put fake moss on, um, we put sand, and we put gravel and coffee grinds. And on the top, we put some glow-in-the-dark paint, but it's not dry yet. And the next step is to let it dry. Then we're gonna go let it erupt. So let's go erupt. Okay, now it's time to erupt. So with me, I have my friend Giovanna, and we're gonna erupt. But you're gonna use your volcano, some dishes of a glass, baking soda, vinegar, food dye, and soap. Take your soap and just put a nice big squirt thing in. Close that, put it to the side, get two scoops of uh, baking soda if it comes out. And one more. <laughs> and you're just gonna wanna stir that around. Once you get it all mixed up, just pour it into the top of your volcano. And you can put your spoon in that extra cup. Nothing will explode when you put that in because that looks lovely. Whenever you're ready, you're going to want to take your vinegar and pour it in. Okay. And we just know we added some extra baking soda. Okay, fine. And roll Dump up your it. sleeves. 